Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Mobile Detailing Edmonton. Today is all about the electrical work in the man cave. We're getting it going, we're getting it started, and we're going to see what you think. Got some tips, some pointers from an actual electrician, and he's going to tell you why we're doing what we're doing and what it's going to do in the end, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Everybody, like I said, today's all about electricity, and I've got the man behind me slaving away. He's doing awesome. This company is called Bannister Electrical Services here in Edmonton, Alberta, and he is pretty much a, a master at his tradecraft. He's also pretty cool. So, here, I'm going to introduce you real quick. Say hi to everybody. Okay, hi, I'm Trevor. <laughs> I'm uh, doing electrical work here for Lance at his uh, basement development. So tell us what this orange wire and white wire is all about, like, or is it oh. yellow? I, I don't know. Half yeah, it's yellow. Uh, that's just a little heavier wire. Uh, that's usually used for uh, in a kitchen or like a bar setup. Anytime you have countertop plugs. Okay, so right on. Show purpose. everybody what's going on over here with the bar. So right here we were talking about doing a bar fridge, right? Yep. Okay. And yeah, so that's on its own circuit there. It's got its own 15 amp circuit. Right on. And then you've got the yellow wire going for the bar top, so that's so we can plug in things. Yeah. Charge things. Blenders, get it all ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Anytime you, there's any uh, uh, ability to plug anything uh, like a kitchen appliance in, like uh, even uh, blender, uh, toaster, even though it's not a kitchen. You still have to do it so that you're not going to blow the breaker. Right. So. So quick thing, something I learned, everybody. Smoke alarm. I kept saying, "Hey, you're going to put the smoke alarm in. You're going to put the smoke alarm in." And he says, "Lance, we don't do that right away. Why? Tell everybody why. Because I, I, hell, I didn't know. Oh, Because yeah. all the dust you were saying. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, they'll uh, come with a little red bag inside the box when you buy one. Yeah. You're supposed to put that on there when you're still working, like drywalling Jesus. or you're sanding. So this thing's toast then, because I never did do that. So I guess... Uh, you can't really trust it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yes. Guess what he's saying is, is we're getting a new smoke alarm. <laughs> but... Uh, Right on, and then uh, what are we doing with the ceiling for the lights? We're doing those thin LEDs, four inch pucks, I think you were talking about? Yeah, well, they're not really pucks, they're, uh, they're just uh, like slim LED uh, pot lights. They're uh, the kind of the newer style over the last five years, so you don't use uh, the cans anymore that are uh, because uh, those things take up a crap load of space, right? Yeah, they're kind of clumsy too. They, they protrude into the ceiling, you know, with these small ones, it's nice and easy. Okay. All you got to do is drop this wire down, and uh, when it's time to finish, just cut the hole out with a hole saw, and you can install everything through that hole. Spring clips. And then right here, we're doing um, dimmable switches. So he's got a bajillion plugs in. And for a guy who just cleans cars for a living, I have no idea what the hell I'm looking at, but he says there's <laughs> going to be power here for when you get in and out of the uh, bedroom. And yep. then uh, we're also going to have power for, whoops, Power for the entire lower level is going to be set on here and then upstairs as well. So that way this whole thing can be controlled from two main locations, I believe. Yep. Um, anything else that uh, might be in... Oh! Remember we were talking about this? I can't wait. It's coming in today. Super yeah. excited. He's going to help me. <laughs> I might it's owe him a few uh, coffees though. <laughs> you don't have to go to the theater anymore. Yeah, no. Home theater. It's going to be there. It's going to be... Glory house. So here's another cool electrical trick. So whenever you're doing your electrical, they run it through the walls, obviously. But just in case, in the bathrooms where we're putting all the drywall, we're going to put these metal blanks. Trevor was saying that's going to be there just in case the drywallers try to put too large of a screw in there. We don't actually run into our electrical and screw it up. So this is going to protect us from getting this damaged. So probably have another one there. But yeah, super cool little handy trick that I had no clue about. Yeah. Okay, so here's another cool trick he was telling me. My breaker panel was full, but that was because they used huge uh, breakers. I don't even know if that's the right word, but let me show you what I'm talking about. Whoosh. <laughs> anyway, these are called slimline breakers. These are what I should have had in, uh, obviously GFIs, some more slimline breakers, but these massive things, they don't need to be here. All they're doing is taking up more space. 
So we're going to put in slimline breakers. It's going to give the same quality uh, protection, but and it's going to take up a lot less space. So we're going to be better off for it. I think the biggest problem we're having right now is the fact that we only have one plug-in in the entire basement that actually works because, well, when you build a house, that's all they ever give you in Canada. Don't know why, but there you go. Might be asking yourself, what the hell is he doing carrying all these lights? Oh, the dog. Sorry. Anyway, apparently when you're doing electrical work, and a new construction, you don't get lights until the permit's done and you're drywalling. So we gotta go set up some lights. <laughs> Who knew? Hey, are you alive? There we Holy go. Jesus. And now we have the Jesus light on. <laughs> Much better. People okay. can see what they're doing now. That matters. <laughs> well, it's coming right along. He's got pretty much everything done up. He's going to finish up on the fan in the bathroom. I've got some lights, well, placed as best I can until we get everything done up. But usual construction mess this is the part that uh, my OCD usually has a problem with but cool thing is is he comes behind himself and picks up so it's really nice um, any work that he does he usually has the vacuum around so that way we can get it done but yeah no we we got her all done up the one thing that he was showing me we're gonna do a cool vanity right here the same as upstairs but he left me a little little sneaky trick here he left a lot of cord in here in case because I still got a bulkhead to build here. So in case we have to drop the bulkhead down too far and the vanity like electrical is too high up, he said we can move it around. But yeah, looks like the uh, fan is already set up, done up there. And then it's a new tone fan. I think what the model is the ARN70LC. Pretty good setup. And then, see, everything else is done got the wires hanging where all the lights are going to be we're going to put two pot lights up here over by the bar we're going to put four lights in here we've got a setup over here for hopefully an arcade is in my future i don't know though if my wife will let it happen <laughs> and then over here we've got a plug-in for behind the couch another plug-in over there for where the couch is going to turn around for the sectional a plug in there for any kind of end table we're gonna do and then again the projector which didn't come UPS you're killing me and then in here we're doing a pot light in the closet plug in for the bedroom two more plug-ins on either side of the bed and then one more over here in case we want to put up something but there's that smoke alarm it's gonna be there and this is up here just in case we're going to do a fan, which I think we are doing a fan. And this is all the box for all the electrical for the projector and for the receiver and for the cable box and everything else. So we've tried to think of as much stuff as possible. And that is our super awesome dog, Precious. Say hi. Okay, you're famous. <laughs> Anyway guys, again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video today. It's all about the electrical installation in the house. And there he is, one last view of the man. See you guys later. And again, if you like what you see today, hit the subscribe button and uh, leave any comments and suggestions you have in the drop box below. Thanks, see you next time.